Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another SnowRunner video and today it is another comparison video. We're checking out the M181 edition Chevy Kodiak K70. One of my favorite trucks, one of my favorite M181 mods and we're comparing it to the vanilla version. We got Murky here again and I feel bad because he's always stuck with vanilla trucks but the Royal BM was not that bad. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump into it guys. So you know what to do, drop a like on the video guys and please drop a sub on the channel. Appreciate the support. That way there you can catch all these great comparison videos and watch me winch murky out of mud almost every time. <laughs> we'll jump into it. Oh, this is a truck that I actually, to be honest with you, have not driven that much, even like in the base game. Really? Because, yeah, because I actually ended up unlocking the pay star, I think, and then j I just used that because I yeah. never got the upgrades for this, so, but. And that's the tough part, too, right, is uh, whether you have the upgrades or don't and which one you have more upgrades for, that becomes a really big dilemma when you're playing with some, uh, vanilla trucks. I always like the look, fit, finish, and feel of the Kodiak K70. It reminds me of the Lodestar a little bit, like especially the interior and everything. It's just like classic, plain, really well balanced. Looks really good. I am slipping and sliding my studs away. Yeah, I keep telling myself I need to put on the chain tires. <laughs> yeah, but but how much do. would that impact your mud performance? Yeah, probably a lot. Sorry, yeah. I kind of like brake check you there. You're good. All right, we're gonna start out in low plus, as let's always. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Can you tell the speed just dropped? Yeah. I do have the best engine in here, and I do have the race suspension, so. I'm trying not to go in old tracks. I might have to drop it in a load here, actually, the deeper we get. I'm actually just... The water here is what's giving me grief. I dropped it in a low, though. Now we're actually not spinning at all. Again, I'm surprised with the difference it makes with the mod truck. It kind of makes me wonder how console players survive this long with SnowRunner. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know that sounds bad in a lot of ways, but how did they do it? I do not understand at all. Yeah, Alright, should I, should I come back and winch you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm digging. I'm, I'm, doesn't matter, low, low plus, low. Interesting. So for me in reverse, I guess I have a lot more weight in the front of my truck. So I just, I like, reverse is non existent for me. I'm actually gonna just park it right here because I do not run, want to run out of fuel because even idle I'm burning 3.8 liters per minute right now yeah this thing does not one, get good fuel one thing I one thing I love about the M181 editions is they're they're never OP they're always super balanced like I'm still able to back up and get to you but I struggle yep. a little bit I really do I'm feathering the reverse gear right now to try to get back far enough to be able to grab you and it's actually kind of crazy to think that I was able to get here um, I'm gonna winch on to you so just hang tight there all right now I'm gonna pull you forward and low actually I'm gonna pop in a low minus I would suggest you do the same Like, basically what I'm doing at this gear is I'm digging the mud up in front of me that's giving me the traction for me to kind of go over <laughs> it and use it as traction. Uh, one thing I'm really impressed with with SnowRunner is how they made the mud textures so realistic when you're digging and, you know, oh, yeah, kind of breaking looks... through the mud and everything. That is really impressive. And then yeah. when you're really digging, the mud's just flying six feet in the air. Like... Oh, yeah, you want to see a dig? I'm going to paint your truck with mud. <laughs> oh, actually, all I'm doing is painting my own truck with mud. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Now we got a dirty Kodiak. 
All right, we're getting there. Obviously, it's uh, not as capable as the Royal BM-17, in my opinion. Not yeah. even the, versus the stock one. Now and you I, see why I never really drove this truck. <laughs> well, I think a big part of it, too, though, Murky, is the fact that it is a bare-bone, like, chassis truck, you know? It's not, yeah, it doesn't have a whole true. lot of weight anywhere to it to give you that traction you need. The traction yeah. you want and the traction you need, it really just doesn't have it. Yeah, I think you said it when you were customizing yours earlier, that it's more like a farm truck yeah. type, type truck, so... So I'm not starting to like bog down, but now that we're in the really wet mud, the deepest mud, like my ass is in the air, <laughs> and like it, I don't know if it's a cab because I do have the weighted cab guard or the cab protector, but it's just crazy to see the weight difference in this truck from front to rear. Yeah, it's a. Uh... You don't have the fuel tank on it either, like you did with the. BM-17. Yeah. You just have so, the sidebar bed. Uh, that kind of oh. proves my theory. I think having fuel tanks and, like, even a crane maybe adds enough weight to the rear of the chassis on a longer truck like this to help you get the traction. Like, yeah, it's going to make you sink a little bit, but you are going to have the traction. It's going to be balanced. But right now, with this weight ratio, my rear tires can't get the grip that they need to kind of keep pushing us through, you know? Yep. Except right now, because we're digging through the deep part of the mud, and we're almost the end of the mud pit. But even if I put in a low, I just start digging. By the end of this, I think the, I think that'll be at about 150 liters. Yeah, if you need fuel, I've got extra. This uh, bare bones has got 200 stock. I don't know if you've got the same. But... Uh, I got 450. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. am good. It's a little bit different. Just a little bit different. You look at this like watery mud and it doesn't look like it's too deep and then you're like your whole tire is just gorged in water and it's just like oh. Yep. Uh, I know that. A little bit more nasty looking than. All right, we're coming to the tail end of this now. What do you think? So I'm gonna let go just to get out of this last bit of mud, and then I'm gonna hook onto you and actually just pull you. It'll be yeah. easier at this point for this last little bit. I have to keep spinning just to avoid you pulling me in, but it's pulling you pretty quick, I do have to say yeah. that. And now once I once you get closer I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna pull you straight up now. I'm gonna wait till your rear axle rear axles get all the way up and I'm just gonna unhook and there we go man. Now you are on your own. Lead the way, Capitan. Sweet. Sounds a little bit different. <laughs> I don't think I put the. I think I just had the two horns on top. Yeah, you could definitely tell that. I can even tell already that this truck is struggling. Yeah. A lot more, even on the trail. Even just on the regular road compared to the EM17. Honestly, maybe the vanilla Kodiak can't even make it on that trail. Maybe we should just take them to the circus site. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you have extra fuel? I do, the, yeah. Okay. Because, uh,. I think I'll have a fuel concern at the le at the least, you know. Well, let's see how it does on this part of the trail before we take the exit towards the service site and then make our decision. Okay. Yeah, it's a struggle. 
I'm actually doing better in automatic than M in a low or low minus. The diff lock's always engaged, so that helps a little bit for me, but... Yeah, for... With this, the way that this bare bones works is, uh... You actually have to put it into low, low minus, low plus to get the diff to engage, so... Yeah, a lot of trucks are like that. Mod or not. I'm gonna keep my lights off for now. <laughs> Do I need to give you a little push? Maybe. High on this just starts spinning, man. So I'm going to be honest with you, the mod, the M181 edition can go through that trail no problem, but I really don't think you'll make it in the vanilla truck. I hate to say it. <laughs> yeah, because this isn't even really anything too crazy, you know? Like, no, it, I mean, it's it does not. have some deep snow parts, and like, but it's just like, just struggling in the like the deep thick mud and uh... oh nice nice stoppy thank you thank you good one so what do you say murky we taking the trail back we we risking it or are we just heading back to the service site at the end of the road well It is getting dark, so... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just hit the service site then. I think between the torture tests and that first part of the trail, it really showed whether the vanilla truck's capable, versatile, or anything at all. Yeah. We got a little bit of trail footage, too. I mean, it, it, it was struggling on it. Struggling hard. And the, the hard part is, is I wouldn't even have the opportunity to help rescue you, you know? Yeah. So, all right, let's park him and, and we'll take a break. I got a floating cat there. Do you see that? <laughs> They're yeah. both packed. Oh, jeez. What? I have two what? cats there, packed, but there's no trailer. <laughs> all right, well, that, Snow that's runner a, things. <laughs> that's a little bit of a funny. Yeah, for sure. Um, in concluding, anything you have to say about the vanilla Kodiak? Oh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an Very understatement. Very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, guys. All right, well, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like and a sub on the channel. Uh, make sure if you want to use the Kodiak, the vanilla Kodiak, you have a friend with you. Because I don't think you're going to get very far with the vanilla truck. But thanks again for tuning in, guys. We'll get back to you with another SnowRunner comparison.